Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here thank you for clicking on today's video. So it's the first video of the year hoping to start the year as I mean to go on and be more consistent with videos but I mean already this is the first video and it wasn't supposed to be so we're already doing a really bad job but that's okay. So as you can tell by the title today is a Marks and Spencer's haul and now this haul it's really good I'm just putting it out there really good haul so don't forget to like and subscribe if you do enjoy this video and my social medias are down below and let's jump into the video so first off i'm going to speak about some basics so i picked up some of their thermal basics so i just picked up in the black i picked up their top and their thermal leggings so for size reference i'm normally a size 10 preferably 10 on the top 12 on the bottom I do like things to fit me a little bit bigger so do be aware of that if I if I say something fits me perfectly I mean it fits me I could go and eat a roast dinner and it would still fit me kind of idea so that's for size reference so I got a 10 in the top and a 12 in the bottom Um, also for height reference I'm 5 foot 3 these are so nice, so soft. They've got like a fleecy lining inside, kind of like the ones you get in on the leather trousers. So they're both kind of fleece lined. So comfy. If you know, if you've seen my videos before, you know that I do get a bit weird with um, fabrics. I've got really sensitive hands. This has no problems with it. Really thick, good quality. I think they were £16 each, but I will definitely be keeping them because I am going to Iceland this year. So hopefully. So yeah just a really good base layer and they're thermal so they'll keep me nice and warm and I just got them in the black so not too much to say about that but really a really nice soft and stretchy material for them. Next up is another favourite and also really soft. I picked up this knitted hoodie here. Now I picked it up in the grey and I picked up a size large and this was £29.50. I'm not too sure how many sizes they have I can't remember. But I picked up the large anyway and I absolutely love it. It's just kind of like a, it's just a knitted hoodie. It has a pocket at the front. This doesn't look as soft as it feels. This is so soft. Like, I would live in this. I kind of like how I can work from home and kind of be a little bit more presentable. But also, I, I've already styled this with wide leg black trousers for the office. So yeah, I can't wait to see all the outfits I can get out of this. It's just it's just so soft, but it looks nice and it's knitwear, so it's a bit more appropriate for kind of going out, but I love this. I also love green it, if you can't tell. Next up, and kind of the reason I did this haul, because I saw this, it is this quilted jacket. Now, I feel like this style is kind of going about right now and I wasn't sure whether I was on board with it or not just because I wasn't too sure how to how to style it really but I thought the price of this one wasn't too bad so this was £35 and I did buy it in a size 14 because I wanted it to be oversized and for me this fit for, this fit, for me this fits exactly how I'd want it to fit this one is shower resistant and it also says it's got a thermal warmth warmth without weight which is nice because this is really thin. It doesn't feel like it would keep any warmth in at all. But yeah, I love the color of this. I just need to see how to style it. So if you got any tips, let me know. I picked up this. This is so nice as well. This feels so soft. It's nice and big. It's got a zip, which I really like. I hate all, even my work toe is like this. It doesn't have a zip it's just got a magnetic popper and I really find that annoying I wanted a big bag like this for when I was in Milan and I found it really hard finding a nice big tote bag that had a zip so I found one I'm unsure if I should keep this color or if I should go back and get I think they had a black and maybe another color so I'm not too sure what color to keep because I do love it in this color but this is just a recipe for dirty disaster but it's just it's so big it's lightweight like honestly perfect see for a food shop just chuck it in there i love it so much since i'm talking about accessories i will talk about the next bag which this bag was all over my tiktok page 
I can't for the life of me remember what this is supposed to look like. Is it Celine bag that it's supposed to look like? Just got a pocket on each side and then a zip. I'm not gonna lie, it does look very nice, very chic very minimal. Oh it's got a little slip pocket at the back as well. I did not see that before. Also I do quite like, I did have to adjust the strap because I made it too long. It's nice easy adjustment so you can have all the different lengths as the one strap but also you could double up if you wanted and have it across your shoulder. So really it's multiple bags in one is what I read from that. So what's not to love and it comes in a, comes in a few colours actually. Comes in a red, but I think the red one was on sale just for, for Christmas, but I'm very impressed. I don't actually need this bag, so I am going to return it because I have lots of black bags that look like this. But it was really popular online, so how could I not order it and just see what the fuss was about? And I get it, I'll be honest. So I want to show you guys. Next up's pair of boots. So I picked up these boots purely to go with something that I never even ended up wearing it with. But these are the boots here. They were 49.50, kind of standard price for Marks and Spencer's boots. I stuck true to size, I got a size five. These are too small for me, which is one of the reasons I didn't put them on again. I tried them on for one of the clips and I couldn't bear to put my foot in it again. I was wearing chunky socks, but I feel like I would want to wear chunky socks when it's winter and it's cold. So these will be going back. I love the look of them, but they just didn't, I am normally like a five and a half to be honest. So I think they might do, they do half sizes. I don't know in all their footwear, but they do have half sizes. So if you do like them or if you're a bit better with sizes, do check these out. Cause they were, my other foot, it was weird. It was one foot that was not happy with it. And the other foot it was fine, but they just, it's a shame. They look nice, but these are going back. So next up, I picked up a pair of stripy linen trousers. The outfit in my head and the outfit that I created didn't work out the way I wanted it to work out, but that's okay. So I saw these and immediately wanted to try them out. They're wide leg and they do have them in short length and long length. Now I actually sized up and got a 14 short purely because they only had a 14 short. But I was right, these actually fit me fine, like they fit me the way I want them to fit me, they're not too tight, they're not too suffocating. But just my vision and what happened just, I can't figure it out. I'm going to have a go at styling these again because they're they're the kind of trouser I want, I just can't figure out how to make it not look like I'm wearing pyjamas but then maybe that's just fine, maybe I should just embrace that I want to wear pyjamas and be done with it. But very comfortable, stretchy as well, so I would have definitely got away with the size 12 but the size 14 was honestly fine. Um, feel good quality, they're not double lined but I don't think they're see through so that's fine and they do have pockets as well, front and back pockets. Sorry, I just kicked my camera, so I think I'm off center now, but that's fine. I've said why. So sticking with stripes, I picked up this striped long sleeve top in the size 14. It's got a little pocket here. I thought this was going to be cuter. I think, again, if I wore it with maybe... I paired it with a skirt that I've got, which you'll see next. But I think if I just wore this with jeans and some trainers, it would definitely give like a smart casual effect. So yeah, anyway, I picked up this comfy, not see-through. Picked it up in a size 14 because I wanted it to be oversized. Doesn't look good with the outfit I paired it with, I won't lie. But I still quite like it. Stripy tops are great. Stripy top with, um... Sorry, I've been filming outfit videos all day today and I completely blanked when I started filming. And now that I'm sitting down here, I'm like, oh, I could pair that with this and pair that with it. Why couldn't I have had these ideas. So as I mentioned I did pair this with a skirt so I picked up a black midi, midaxi, maxi this says, skirt in a size 10 short. 
So it's £35, which I think is about average. Slightly tight on me. Slightly tight on me. But I, I hope by summer I'll fit in. I'll squeeze myself into these. But I just wanted to try it out, really. It feels quite... It's not too thick of a denim, so I think this will be quite good for spring and summer. I wore my Medaxi denim skirt so much last year. So I have... So I thought, well, I need a black one, obviously. But I do quite like it. The only thing I wasn't too... I feel like this split wasn't in the centre and you couldn't really see it. Which is not really a problem. I don't really have much to say about it. It was a little bit tight. I probably should have gone for a size 12. Because that's what fits me. <laughs> but, and I love how they have the short length. I don't know if they have the long length, but they definitely have the short length. Because I bought a short. But I just... I love that about Markies. Marks and Sparks. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm quite tired. I feel like that's coming through in the video that I'm tired. But we have two things left. Next up, I got a Medaxi beige cream jumper dress. Again, same with the last knitted thing I got. Very soft like this. If it wasn't for the fact it's cream and I'm wearing makeup, my face would be on this. But that would be a very bad idea. Um, so it was £35 and I bought it in a size medium. Really nice and baggy, only it does kind of grip to my tummy, I won't lie. It really does. Uh, so I don't love that, but then also if I was to wear it and just not care, it's also really comfortable because it's not tight. But really soft, just really baggy. Um, I am obviously 5'3", so this is very long on me. But I just paired it, I actually paired it with slippers. But um, like the... Aztec Uggs? Is that what they're called? Taz? Don't know. But really soft, just a good thing to chuck on. Even if you're, see if you're working from the house. That's so comfortable to just chuck on. Put some nice slippers on and just, you feel put together. You look put together when you're on your Zoom calls. But you also are just so comfortable. Last up, I picked up a trench coat. Now I picked this up, again they had it in a petite length. So I picked it up in a size 12 short and it says it is shower resistance, which is nice. And you can kind of feel in the fabric that it is. I personally think I should have got a 14, if not a 16 in this. Because I like my things to be very oversized and this is definitely more of a fitted look, which is fine. It's just not what I want. I already have a fitted trench coat so it's not what I need. I need an oversized one. But love the colour. I just think I definitely should have sized up. This coat is going to be perfect for coming into spring. Obviously we still have a good chunk of winter to get through but when spring comes this is going to be nice also being in Scotland which is where I'm from. Having a shower resistant coat especially a trench coat will be quite nice because it rains a lot here. It is actually sun and blue skies right now. Trench coat is definitely a spring item but it's good to be prepared for when that season comes around. So that was everything for my Marks and Spencers haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did and my social medias are down below and I will see you in my next video.